What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking, y'all? Yeah, I was uh, watching the video from uh, Shannon CVPI uh, a couple of days ago, probably yesterday. I forgot when I was watching this video. But pretty much, he was talking about E85. I think he had an 08 or 09. So he's talking about the flex fuel. So I thought maybe this would be a good time to talk about E85. And will it damage your Crown Vic? Now that depends. Now let's talk about what is E85. E85 is a biofuel. Yes, E85 is a biofuel. Pretty much they uh, get a biomass and turn it into biofuel. Biomass is pretty much, uh, uh, go look it up. Well, since it is uh, E85, uh, a biomass is pretty much, uh, pretty much uh, algae and um, corn, anything that they grow. Well, they got an abundance stuff they don't really fucking need. Uh, so shit, they turn that into, uh, uh, well, let's break it down. The E stands for ethanol, which is ethyl alcohol. Yep, the same alcohol that's in beer and drink and all that good stuff is what E85, what ethanol is. And, um, pretty much it's, um, in fact, it's the same process that they use to make beer, they use to make E85. Uh, you know, as far as uh, uh, fermenting and using enzymes and stuff to pull sugar and things like that. And, um, so if you got E85, I just pulled up to a gas station called the Power Gas Station that has E85 in it. So yeah, if you, uh, you got E85 in your car. Your car is drunk off that damn beer. Your car is drunk off that damn. And here we have it. E85 pump. Uh, you see where it says 85? That's the. Uh, let's talk about the 85 and the E85. The 85 and E85 stands stands for the uh, the percentage of ethanol, ethanol by volume. Um, with gas, so it's 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. You see where it says E15? That's another uh, ethanol option, where it's 15% ethanol and 85% gasoline. Um, um, they say um, it's it's pretty much uh, three different um, levels of uh, E85. Uh, it's E15, E10, and E85. Uh, E10 is safe for all cars, but as far as the Crown Victoria all around, just in case you guys don't know, 87 is the what you're supposed to use. 89 and 83, you're just paying extra money. But for uh, flex fuel cars or cars that have um, that that's, uh, that you use um, ethanol in, E85 is your option. I wouldn't use E8, E15 or E uh, E10. I would use E85. Uh, if you have a uh, flex fuel vehicle your gas cap will look like this i don't know if that's in a 2008 or 2009 this is my first flex fuel vehicle um it came with a yellow gas cap um uh, which i removed and put a, a lockable la gas cap because the door the gas door is not lockable um so anybody got access to your fuel so what i did was uh switch that out with a lockable gas cap but this is the gas cap that would come in a flex fuel vehicle um and you'll have the flex fuel emblem on the back let's get um let me show you guys the emblem on the back if you have a flex fuel vehicle another uh sign to uh, pick up it'll have this on it flex fuel Um, now let's talk about, uh, is it safe for your crown Victoria is E ethanol. Now we will E85 damage my crown Victoria. <clears throat> if you have a crown Victoria, that's 2007 of, of the year 2007 and below. Yes. You have a chance of damage. 
2008 and up, you're good. 2008 and up, you're good. Uh, some some people might argue about the 2007 as far as the fuel sensor and things of that nature. If you have a 2007, you can try it. If I had one, I wouldn't try it. I'll just put the regular 87 in and just rock out with it. Now, the... Um, the damages, the damages that could happen to your Crown Victoria, your Flex Fuel Crown Victoria, which is the 2008 and up, um, as far as the 85, um, the damages that can happen is uh, uh, corrosion. Um, that happens when you put the E85 in and you let it sit. Um, this E85 doesn't have its uh, have the lubricating um, um, properties as the regular gasoline uh, does. So if you let that shit sit in your car, um, it uh, it uh, attracts water. The ethanol attracts water, and you can have corrosion. And plus, the non-lubricating um, properties of the gasoline. So you can uh, have corrosion. You can have um, you know you can have freezing of the lines with the water in that and stuff like that. So I, w I don't use it as much in the winter time, um, unless I'm know I'm going to be driving driving a lot. But, um, um, so, um, yeah, 2008 and up, throw the shit in your car and, and see the difference. The difference I have noticed when I put in, it, uh, put the uh, E85 in my car is the thr throttle response. Like, uh, like that bitch jump, like, like, and that's why, I'm, uh, mostly, uh, um, race car drivers use this because of the, uh, the cheapness of the, um, uh, fuel. And, and and how often they're going to burn it out, and plus the uh, the benefits of the uh, the octane of the gas or whatnot, if I can name it that. I guess the lower the octane, and the higher the compulsion rate. You have to look into that science to learn that stuff. But pretty much, uh, you get a, a quick auto response when it uses E85. I noticed that it zips real quick. Um, that's a plus to using it and um it's cheap um so say if uh like most cases i would use it for say if i'm going to pick up some money i'm i got, only got five bucks in my pocket as opposed to throwing regular gas in it which would probably put me at a quarter tank or something like that uh the e85 will put me a little bit above uh half of quarter tank um off of uh empty um and that'll get me to my destination It'll burn like um, um. It's not really it's for long term use. It's it's no different difference from gas. Only difference from gas is the response of uh, response you get as far as uh, uh the pickup and shit. But uh, as far as uh trying to save money, it's the same shit unless you're going to use it that day. Cause if you think about it, um, this shit burns quick because of the alcohol content of it. It burns quick. So, um, you're going to be burning this gas more than regular gas. So, I mean, as far as the price, it's pretty much the same shit. So, you're not really saving money. I wouldn't consider this like saving money. You'll be saving the environment because it burns, because ethanol burns, uh, uh, burns cleaner than regular gas. But, uh, as far as saving money, you're not really saving too much. But, if I had my last five, that's when it would come in. That's when it, um, E85 would come in handy. Other than that, you're not really saving too much money on the long run. Like, it's not, not too much of a difference. But, um, yeah, guys, I hope that covered enough on E85. It's good for racing and things like that. Um... Um, on a highway, you can get good gas, gas mileage out of E85. So, like I said, if you had your last five dollars, I'll throw the E85. You'll get more, and it burns better. It burns quick, but it, 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 it'll get you to that destination. At, and then, and then um, that 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 uh, that uh, empty slime won't come up as quick as um, regular gas. So uh, that's the benefits of it. But I wouldn't use it during the winter time, and I wouldn't let it sit in my car during the winter time which I don't um, unless I'm going to be using it all that day. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't want the water to, you know, 
you know, the ethanol to attract the water in it and accumulate and I have problems, you know, with my seals and, and things of that nature and the rubbers because it's not very lubricating. So I hope that covered uh, E85. Uh, I've said I've been I've been said I was going to cover this video. I hope that covered enough. If you have any questions on E85, you can always hit the comment section, and I can give you more in depth details on E85. Other than that, it's your boy King Crown, and I'm out. Peace.